I've always been very intrigued about what was the intent behind, behind the great manifestation of the building of the pyramids in Egypt, specifically the ones in Giza. Why would, would they build them, and what was their purpose, and when? Well, the purpose of them was uh, the, for the uh, maintaining of uh, physical bodies. In other words, they were built not just as a shrine, but as a, a tomb to protect those carcasses from the elements. Because the misguided pharaohs who, who decided to construct the pyramids believed that they were going to return to those bodies and they wanted them to be in good shape when they got back. Hmm. Okay. Now the reason why I ask the question is because um, there's been some speculation that possibly they were machines for harnessing the energy of the earth and projecting energy beams. So it's kind of like the interest that I had into it. Well, not so much machines as the, in the same way that we've been talking all day here today, and scientists will be interested in this if they can leave the realm of, of fact and reality and come a little bit into the uh, realm of fantasy and imagination, they will find some clues for harnessing energy. And we've been talking about it all day here today, that one who's connected to the stream is more powerful than millions who are not. You are, are harnessing... Your scientists today, while they are utilizing the power that they are terming electricity, they have not begun to understand it. They've not begun to understand it. When you harness sound energy in the way that you are harnessing light energy, because of the denser frequency of the sound vibration, you will get more movable energy from it. So it was, it was about that. So they thought maybe by concentrating the electrical energy that they would actually propel their body somewhere? Is that, was that the well, idea? Well, they were, they were lightning loads. They, were, they understood leverage. In other words, a, a lot of it was through uh, the sheer will and power of just moving one thing to another place. But the leverage of it was something that they received uh, cl clarity about from inside the vortex. And it's all kinds of things that they were utilizing in that day in terms of leverage, even in terms of uh, water buoyancy, all kinds of things that are not even being considered when that subject is approached today. So having said that, when were they built? And by whom? <clears throat> by the uh, civilization that was present at the time that those people who were put in the tomb was put in the tomb. <laughs> in other words, it was that constituency. It was that... You see, the, it's an interesting thing because humans, while we talk about you being on the leading edge, we also want you to remember that you have been creating in this environment for a very long time. And while you are at your furthest extension of creativity. Scientifically, you haven't even come close to catching up with some of the things that some were doing before. In other words, the true motion forward is in the spiritual intertwining. You have been more technologically advanced than you are today. Not spiritually. Not harmonically, but technologically. Technologically. Okay, yeah. that confirms that. Now, yeah. can I move on to a deeper question? Okay, and thank you so much. That completely satisfies my, my question.